Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Uh, still in my old house. Not for long. On Thursday, the internet guy is coming to my new apartment, and then I'm gonna be moving all my stuff over, my computer and stuff, so I'll be starting to stream there then, hopefully. Light Blue Cloud, um, what's like Gert, Gert Wilder's, like, chances to win? Do you have, like, any numbers on, like, polls? Because that's also a really interesting one. Um, the Netherlands, Germany, and France are all having elections this year, and all of them have a really strong right populist movement in them, anti-European, which is quite frightening. The French one is probably the strongest and most frightening, but I don't know about the Netherlands, the, the Dutch one. Is that a mattress on the floor? Yeah, that's a mattress on the floor. That's right. All right. If you could see my table set up, dude, but I'm not gonna show you because it's a fucking mess right now. He's in second place? Really? What like type of percent numbers are we talking here? That's scary as fuck. What? Oh no. That guy is such an asshole. Anyway. I feel we're the only country without a nationalist leader. Dude, Germany is not gonna have a nationalist leader this year. We're gonna fuck those right populist cunts, dude. The AFD is not not getting to the parliament. Actually, they are getting to the parliament, but with a really, really small minority, I hope. Though you I have moved. I spent the last couple of nights in my new apartment. I just haven't moved my computer yet. I drove over here to stream, which is why I'm streaming so early. Because I can't stream in the middle of the night here and then drive over because there's not going to be a bus. Anyway, let's play some Pokemon. Whoops. Yeah, boy! It's PC time. Temmie, you crazy motherfucker. Thank you so much, dude. God. Temmie, I love you. Fuck, thank you. What's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for the 10 bucks, buddy. How many major political parties are there in Germany? Um, so in terms of parties that can make it into the parliament right now, I would say one, two, three, four, about five. Um, there's the Christian Democratic Union, which is the party of Angela Merkel. Um, which are more like conservative center-ish, and then there's the sh Social Democrats, which is basically the second largest party, although that's kind of arguable right now. They have Martin Schultz, who's the like big meme dude this year. And then there's smaller parties, like the, those are like the two big ones, and there's smaller parties, like the Liberal Party and the Green Party. And then there's the right populist party, the AFD, which has risen to power these last couple of years. Parties within one seat of the leading party. Good news is though other parties are not keen on working with him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the same in Germany. Like even if the right populist party in Germany were to um, get like a big, 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 big lead on the others, no one is willing to. Um, to so basically, how it works in Germany is, um, in order to have, in order to lead the parliament, you have to either have I think fifty percent or more of the votes. Or you have to come together with other parties to add up to 50% or more of the votes. But because none of the parties want to cooperate with the right populist party, as long as they don't get 50%, they will never, like, be, um, actually, like, in the majority in the parliament. They will always be in a minority position, but they'll always still be in the parliament, you know? Um, that's kind of how it works. Oh yeah, Australia has mandatory one. Coalitions, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 coalitions. Yeah, so it's it's similar to how it is in Germany, except you guys are a little bit more fucked, because the AFD has been hovering around like 9% in polls. Let's give Feebass a haircut real quick. I have like no money, dude. <laughs> I'm so poor. That's two haircuts for Feebas. All right. Um, and now I want to do one more thing. We got to do one more errandy thing in game before we can start uh, the Mahogany Rockets. And that's the fact that we need to thief leftovers off of Wild Munchlaxes. 
So let me put my dead crowbat in my party so I can fly him. Wow, it's even in the oh, actually, it's on my team right now. I'll just put Ill Illumise up here. Actually, I should lead with um, Lantern because I don't want to run into like an arena trap to pinch and then Illumise dies. You know, we don't want that to happen. Um, I'll do something like this. Which is fucking shit because they so they go towards the leading party, so 75% of the party don't want to get in. Yeah, fuck that. Please don't eat your fee bass. I'll try. I'll try my best. Wait, yeah. I thought What's the what's a donkey boat? Wait, if you can vote for no one to be... Wait, how does that work? Let me deposit Crobat here. Because he is technically dead. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing with mandatory voting. Like, people who really don't want to vote aren't going to vote anyway, you know? But I guess it's more about the people who just are too lazy to go vote, but would vote, like, anyway. I don't know. Actually, who's the fastest? Is Lantern or Metacham faster right now? Let's see. Metacham is at a solid 115 speed and Lantern is at a solid 73, okay. I have such a fucking slow team this time, dude. All of my Pokemon are slow as fuck. It's really annoying. No, voting but you're not going to be fine because you've been crossed off is actually voting if that- Yeah, 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 I, 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 I get it. I know what you mean. It's interesting uh, to think about mandatory voting, I guess. Um, I don't know, I like the- I guess I like that my country has the right to not vote. But then again, like... I don't know, people who really don't care about voting anyway, like, how much good is their vote really gonna do? Is kind of the way that I think about it, I don't know. Let's put on some music and speed up the emulator while I thief things. Alright. We can... Hold up. Let's build a team. I can't wait to get choice score for a minute, Jim, man. Things gonna be insane. So, I feel like... This is gonna be the team. This is just gonna be the team, man. This is a good team. We have two psychic types and two water types, but I feel like that's fine. Um, let's see if Fujibot can do his shit. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, Fran yeah, we can't lose France to Le Pen, and we also can't lose you guys to, to Garrett Wilders. Like, the Netherlands are also really important for the EU. Metacham. Blissey. I feel like Fujibai is behind on the team somehow. Slow, bro. Um, Spiritum. Fuck. Spiritum. Uh, Torterra and Lantern. The opposite, what's up? There's this normal, I have a normal immunity. I do have quite the bug type weakness, don't I? I have a ghost type immunity. I don't have a grass type resistance, that's actually huge. I really have an electric- I actually have an electric type immunity, dragon doesn't matter, dark doesn't really matter, and fairy doesn't matter. Playing Zelda and Bomberman, like, at the same time? That sounds sick, man. No damage types are still broken, yeah. 
Let's, okay, you definitely need leftovers. I feel like half my team needs leftovers right now. I think you need leftovers as well. Like, almost everyone on my team needs leftovers right now. Spiritomb definitely does. I could go choice ban Spiritomb. I like leftovers, it's more versatile. You love Bomber Bomberman? Are you playing the new Zelda or something? You know what, I'm gonna give a Miracle Seed to... To... Torterra. I like it being a little bit more offensive here. Actually, fuck, Leftovers is so good. Yeah, I'm just gonna give Leftovers to everyone except for Metacham right now. Maybe Magnet or Mystic Water for Lantern. Yeah. I'll go with Magnet for now. <clears throat> There we go. And then Metacham holding the wide lens. I really like that for those for those high jump kicks. I feel like I'll always be leading with Spiritomb here just because it's so versatile. Let's turn on battle animations. They're actually already on. Nice. Alright. Let's do Mahogany Underground, boys. Yo, can you encounter any other Pokemon but Voltorb down here? Does anyone know that? Wait, what's rank- what are rank ballots? I don't know. Never heard that, man. Uh, Spiritomb is also a designated Raticate counter this time. Although Metacham can also do that pretty well. I don't know if Metacham can outspeed the Raticates though, that's the thing. <clears throat> I know, right, Azri? It's pretty great. I think I'll just... I'll just do this. Shit. You can't explode on me anything, I should be fine. Yeah, this is so fine. And we have leftovers. Rank. Oh, yeah, that's right. I th I actually think France may have that too. I don't know. The French election system is actually pretty dank, but I don't remember which. I think like in the first round, you can like do rank ballots, and then the second round in France, you can decide between the two top, the top two candidates. I think that's how it works in France, and I think that's actually a pretty good system. Yeah, I like rank ballots. Oh, that's really sick. That's a really sick system. I'll just spam Shadow Sneak here, I think. That should be fine. Primate can't really do anything against me. Also, it might have Vital Spirit, which is why I don't like Hypnosis here. That's okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, I can so deal with that. Dude, Leftovers is so overpowered, man. It's way too strong. We have such a good team, man. We have such a slow team. None of my Pokemon are really fast. The, like, the fastest thing is Spiritomb with the priority moves. Can't if your single choice doesn't get Emily, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of how it is in Germany, too. If you vote for, like, a party that doesn't get into the parliament, you just, like, wasted your vote. It's really sad. Uh, I'll stay in against Golbat. I think I'll just spam Sucker Punch here. Actually, I could switch to Lantern. Sure, why not? Umbral and Astral Sun and Moon. Oh, are those the are those the memes? Oh shit! I can't wait. Feels like you never see me online. I stream at weird times for a night. Fucking damn it. I hate these gold bats, man. Yeah, normal stream at like my night time, so like you're. But I think it's morning for you right now, which is also weird. It's good damage. That's really good damage. Holy shit. I was not expecting it to want to KO there. Lantern's like special attack is not that great. 
It's actually pretty defensive. I don't think I need to go heal or anything. Actually, there's a next. The next battle's coming right up, man. This is start 9 p.m. for me. That's so perfect, though, right? Oh yeah, that was back last summer. <laughs> I remember. Uh, yeah, sucker punch. This is like my main strategy against Radicates. They can't really do anything against Spiritomb, and I can two it KO with sucker punch. Actually, if I have choice band, can I one it KO these? It's really close, I think. And they can't super fang me or anything, which with this defensive team is still pretty dangerous, right? This chair. I can't wait to get my <laughs> my actual chair, man. Um, yeah, this is a hypnosis dream eater type of situation. I could switch to like Medicham. I don't want Spirit Tomb to tank too much um, experience right now. Do I? I really don't want to use Torterra for price. I'm probably just going to use Lucario for price. So I'm probably going to spend a lot of the day just raising up Riolu. Um, yeah, well, let's go to Medicham. Dude, my chair is so fucking awesome. I need it back, man. I need it back for good. Yeah, usually I start at like um, afternoon for NA, going into the evening for NA, for NA, and then like late night for EU, which are both really awkward times when I say it out loud, but like, it's what works best for me, I guess. I kind of think of Twitch just as like a 24 hour service. There's always going to be people there watching, you know? You just got to be consistent, which I'm not being today because I can't stream at night this week, at least not until Thursday. I hope everything goes well with the internet setting up, man. Can you encounter any other Pokemon but Voltorb in that field, guys? Does anyone know that? Because otherwise I can't get an encounter here because I already have a Voltorb. I think this guy has a Magneton. Probably should have left with Torterra then, huh? <clears throat> what am I going to get do against the guy with the Wobbuffet? I actually don't know. Yeah, let's just switch to Torterra here. <clears throat> Lock on. My sleeping schedule is waking up at 4.45 a.m. for no reason, then you start streaming at 5. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I really don't want to use Torterra against Price. <coughs> I'm going to switch him out for Lucario, I think. I got to raise up Lucario at some point anyway. And then I'm probably going to switch Matacham for Lucario and then switch in Torterra when we go to Goldenrod. Provided any of them survive against Price. Price is such a hard fight, man. Geodude and coughing. We had so we get a guaranteed coughing, right? Need to find a new job. Sounds awesome, man. Good luck, dude. Yeah, so we actually get a coughing, huh? Okay. Magnet rise. All right, I can live with that. Feels bad, man, Galaxy Man. Feels bad, man. Alright, and Magneton. Easy fight for Torterra, am I right, guys? What am I gonna do against the Wobbuffet guy? Um, I could use Slowbro and just set up like six Combines and then just want to kill with Surf. Or... Huh... What else can I do? I can put it to sleep with Spiritomb and then spam Shadow Sneak and hope that it doesn't wake up. Oh, even if it does, it actually, yeah, because Wobbuffet can never hit Spiritomb because neither Mirror Coat nor Counter can actually hit it because they're fighting in Psychic type moves. Spiritomb is actually perfect for the Wobbuffet trainer. Shut the fuck up. This is how you avoid all the battles here, by the way. Okay, let's try to get... Oh, okay. 
I actually can avoid all, uh, that battle as well, but I want to go from up there because I need to go through that field anyway to get the coughing. Simple zombie, what's up, man? How you doing? Rock. Intimidate? Yeah, okay. I think I'll switch to Medicham then. Uh, yeah, let's do it. First skull grunt, open pineco with explosion on me. It's been a casualty if I open with anyone besides Grimer. <laughs> rip, dude. <laughs> Fucking rip. What a fucking beast. All right, that was a crit though, but I feel like non-crit would have KO there as well. Metacham is really strong, man. I really don't know if I want to use Metacham or Lucario because there's so many poison type with the rockets. I kind of feel like Metacham might actually be better. Um, let's just drain punch, man. I don't feel like risking high jump gear, even if it's like 1%. How's Storm, Storm Silver String? Really good. We're doing, we're having some good battles, man. We have a really sick team. Double crit, dude. What a god. This meta chim. Alright. So we get a guaranteed coughing here since we already have a Voltorb and a Geodude. So... What's the next punishment? A Pokemon themed freestyle. We already have a Geodude, so this is a dupe. That's a coughing. Perfect. Wheezing, actually. Damn! Alright. Good thing it can't self destruct on the Spiritomb. Let's just put it to sleep and throw some balls. Nice double hit, bro. I didn't know Wheezing learned double hit. Stick your dick in a ghost pepper smoothie? I don't think I can do that on stream, man. Man, good thing I bought so many dust balls, right, guys? Spent like 17k polka dollars on dust balls. I probably need to weaken this thing. <sighs> Alright. So then I have Weezing and Muck. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, we can do one more. Actually, that's crit range for the next Sucker Punch, but I. F nah, we'll just do Shadow Snake then. <clears throat> Cornhub's Elder Sister website. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think it's gonna happen, man. As much as you do want to see it. I don't think I can do that for you. What are we calling this thing? Movie. After which movie are we naming this wheezing, guys? Give me movie-themed nicknames for wheezing. <sighs> this chair, dude. Can you guys hear that? Well, 2012. We already have one. We have a Numel named that. Name it Cube after the movie Cube. Because it doesn't fit at all. I don't think that's a good theme. Titanic? Why, though? Isn't there any movie about like poisonous gases? Is there nothing like that? There has to be something fitting. Of course we hear it. <laughs> this fucking chair, dude. I've had this chair for a long time. Hitman? Huh, it's female though. I don't know. Schindler? Oh god, that's really dark. <laughs> I love it. Oh, fog. There's also the mist. Shit. <laughs> Let's not name it that. What about the mist? <laughs> Jesus, opposite. You're pretty mad. <laughs> Schindler. I'm not naming it Schindler.
Let's name it Fog. Stripe PJ? I don't, I don't even know. Let's just go for Fog. Whoops. Alright, more memes. It's okay. We're gonna check IVs and moves and shit like that later. Oh, nice self-destruct, bro. You totally got me with that one. Damn. Would have been a good dark meme, you know, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Pretty sure Lance heals you here. Yeah. Yeah, I need to raise up Lucario for price. There's no way around it. Maybe I should be carrying around Ryolu on my team, but I feel like I'm gonna lose it. Just because of like affection things. All right. I can skip that trainer if I want to, but let's fight him. I remember what this guy has. Dun, 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 dun. Weeping Bell, that's fine. Uh, should I do this fight with anyone? No, I'll just do it with Spiritoon. Um, Lucario, yeah. <laughs> Power Whip, damn, son. Damn, son, that's a lot of damage, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch here. If he goes, like, Sleep Powder, I'm, like, fucked. Yeah. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. And Cold, have you thought of, like, putting on, like... I mean, you're in Australia, what can I say? Thank you. Nice crit. Wasn't even needed. Venomoth. That's part psychic in this game, so I'm gonna fight it. Actually, I'm gonna go for the sucker punch here. Okay. Jesus, alright. Uh. <clears throat> Actually, Shadow Sneak might have been able to KO. I don't know. I don't think you can do much, though. I'm just gonna stay in. I could switch into what, though? I don't really have anything good against bug types. Yeah, I'll just stay in. Try to get out the Shadow Sneak here. Baton pass, really? Okay. To dust stocks. I can deal with that. Just let me heal off the sleep, okay? That'd be great. Just wake up, man. Thank you. Double shadow sneak should kill dust stocks. Dust stocks isn't that strong. Really? Damn, and he sets up the reflect. <sighs> okay, I think I'll switch. Um, I could just switch to Slowbro, actually, but Slowbro is level 42, I don't want to overlevel it. You know what? I'll go into Blissey. We have Flamethrower. I hate Blissey's back sprite, by the way. It's so shit. Look at that damage, look at this. <laughs> oh shit, he gets the stat boost, though. Uh-oh. That's, like, never happened before. I've never seen an enemy get a stat boost off one of those moves. Uh, you just go for the flamethrower. Oh, shit, he has toxic? That's like the only thing that counters Blissey, man. Great Wall is a good name, I know, right? Is that gonna KO? No, not even close. Uh, I need to stay in one more turn. Uh, I I'm not that worried about toxic. Don't get another stat boost, please. How much HP do we heal in one turn with fucking leftovers? It's pretty crazy. We have 260 HP on level 40, dude. I'll do 20 damage instead of 15. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> just healed like almost 20 HP with leftovers. That's so crazy. I'll just stay in. I don't think Venomoth can do much. It can't even put me asleep. That Psybeam is not going to deal a lot of damage. Blizzy's crazy, man. So crazy. <clears throat> nice. Okay. 
I do want to get Thunderbolt for Blissey eventually. Um, I might actually get it after this hideout meme because I do want it for uh, for price. I'm fine with that. Fucking got him. We'll go heal. <sighs> All right. Hold on. There we go. Is anyone maxed on EVs on my team? Because I want to fight trainers later on, but no one's maxed on EVs. It's okay, it's going to be fast with Macho Brace. Let me go heal here because of poison memes. Oh no, Blissey has natural cure. I forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. That's actually so OP. Even if they like poison Blissey, I can just switch it out. Yeah, natural cure is actually crazy. If only we could get Wish on it, man. Wish is so good. In this game, Wish is like so good. Gives any of my Pokemon like a healing ability. That's so fucking dank. I think I want to get special attack for Lantern for its last couple of EVs, and then Torterra probably wants, um... Probably wants attack, actually. Yeah. Metachem definitely wants attack. Um, Slowbro wants special defense. And then Blissey still wants HP. And it's actually not even maxed on defense yet, not quite. Actually get a hyper potion here. Um, there's like two more trainers and there's a Wobbuffet trainer and then there's already Petrel coming up. What I could do for Petrel is just lead with slow bro and set up calm mines and just sweep. I could do that. Cause the Weezing does have thunder but I don't really care about that if I set up like three calm mines. I remember, I think he leads with Raticate though. So I kind of just want to lead with Spiritomb. I don't know yet. Oh yeah, that trainer is also a person, huh? Okay. So one more trainer. Then the two that we need the password from and the Wobbuffet guy. You can skip all the other trainers if you really want to. <clears throat> Get the milk ready for the spicy memes? Sure. Kingler. Um, I'm gonna go into Lantern. Although, what if, like, Earthquake? I guess Mudshot is definitely a possibility. I'm not afraid of any Ice-type moves. I'll just go into Torterra. Oh wow, he switches out too. Interesting. Shell gone. Hmm. Okay. Can deal with that. I think I'll just stay in an earthquake. Protect is completely fine. Lead up with lantern? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know yet. Let me check what Patrell leads with actually. Um. Don't paralyze, please. That'd just be awkward, man. Thank you. <laughs> Leftover is too good, dude. It's too good. Yeah. He leads with Skun Tank, which kind of makes me want to lead with uh, Torterra. Poison Jab hurts a little bit. Actually, it has Flamethrower, too. I don't know if I want to lead with Torterra against the Skun Tank, but what else am I going to lead with? Hmm, that's a difficult one. Hmm... I don't know, man. We'll see. I'm gonna get a blanket because it's cold. You're in Australia, mate. There's no way you can be cold right now. Stomp is fine. Maybe you have a fever? Oh god. Got him, boys. Torterra too good. <sighs> Lance, can you heal me again, please? That'd be nice. 
can you heal me? No? Okay. Fucking asshole, man. I'm just gonna leave Torterra at like 105 HP, I'm fine with that. I'll lead with Medicham. I feel like that's okay. Can I go through here without... ...encountering that one rocket? Pretty sure I can go through this with only encountering the two that I actually need to fight. Snatch. What a useless fucking move. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the one girl we have to fight. I feel like she's gonna leave with like something that completely counters Metacham. And that I need Torterra for. <laughs> Bloom. That's fine actually. I can just psycho psycho cuck that. Psycho cuck boy. Yeah boy. It's good. It's good damage. I could just choice ban Metacham, man. <clears throat> Can I- do you think I can go through- no, I can't go through the entire Petrel fight with just Choice Band Metacham, because I need Psycho Cut for the poison types, but then he has, like, um, Skun Tank, which is gonna tank it. I'll go for the Drain Punch here, no need to high jump kick. It's good. He walk. what's up, bro? Heal a little bit of that. Yeah, it's fine. I'm actually gonna lead with Torterra into the next guy because I think he has electric types. I might be wrong. Oops. Feels a bit weird to lead with like a two third HP Pokemon, but I think it's fine. It's this guy, right? Or is it that guy? I can't remember. I think it's this guy who gives me the password. Pretty sure it's this guy. How you doing, Ewok? You awake? <sighs> Eradicate. Alright, yeah, I'm afraid of Ice Fang. I'm gonna switch up. To the designated Radicate counter, boys. Having Spare Tomb at this point is just so good, man. Nice double edge, bro. You almost got me. Double sucker punch, you get it. Easy, nice miss. Hustle is pretty good, man, not gonna lie. Two out of ten awake. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Uh, into B Burrell. I'll just stay in. Uh, I'm not afraid of Aqua Tail. Shit. That's fine. I can actually only uh, keep spamming Sucker Punch here. I only have two left, all right. All right, I'll switch out. Jokario, what's up, my friend? Yeah, very early indeed. Um, I'll go into... Should I go into Metacham? Is there any safer switch in? Lantern feels pretty safe, but you just use Amnesia. I think I have to go. I have to go into Metacham, just go for the Drain Punch. Went to sleep like four hours ago. Fucking rip, dude. Why would you double yawn? Are you serious? Oh, because the AI predicted the switch, didn't he? What a fucking cuck, dude. I'm just gonna go for a high jump kick to get the KO before I fall asleep. I'm wearing a wide lens, guys. Don't worry. Should KO, right? Easy, dude. Easy. There we go. Fucking got him. Okay. It took a long time for me to realize that the League of Legends player X special is actually named after the Pokemon item. Anyone know that guy? Used to be support for TSM. Used to be one of my favorite players, man. You give me the password, right? Yeah. Alright, buddy. Oh, f what am I doing, dude? I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Why did I run into that trainer? It's okay. I'm a little bit tired. Ditto. Alright. 
Um, I'll just go for the wood hammer here and then switch out. Yeah, I'm faster. That's perfect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, get the password, take out the wild fit trainer, then I'll go heal. And then we'll fight Patrol. Patrol should be fairly doable. Yeah, I got it. Uh, the Wild Fit Trainer should be free with the Spirit Tomb because Counter can't hit Spirit Tomb. Uh, guys, I really want to get that Xbox One Elite controller. It looks so dank. And my, this Xbox controller is like seven years old or something. It's like falling apart. Whoops. Um. Your schedule's equally. All of our schedules are fucked up, man. Every single one has a, has a, has a fucked up schedule. I'll well, just spam Shadow Sneak here. There's nothing you can do. I believe. I don't think Counter can hit Ghost types. Destiny Bond, though. Um, I don't think crit is gonna be able to kill it here, so I'm, I'm fine. <clears throat> Destiny Bond only lasts one turn, right? Actually, a crit would have killed there. Mimic, though. If I... Real quick, Destiny Bond the turn before. If I kill it now, Destiny Bond's not gonna hit, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> when am I gonna Nuzlocke Breath of the Wild? I don't think I'm ever gonna play Breath of the Wild. I'm not, not a big Zelda fan myself. If I Shadow Sneak here, it lasts until his next move. So Destiny Bond is not active right now, right? What's up, Wolf Flame? Alright. So I'm good. Because he used Mimic. Got him, dude. That was the last train before Patrell, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. Could I escape rope out of here? Probably, right? Doesn't matter, I don't have escape ropes. Who brings escape ropes, man? It's a pretty normy item. I don't think getting on the bike is worth there, I don't know. Um... Who do I... I thought it was mahogany, but apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> That's fine. Because like in German you say it's mahogany. And then it's like two A's, so I thought it was the same in English, but apparently not. Who am I gonna lead with against this gun tank? That's actually such a good question. I'm really afraid of flamethrower. But honestly, I feel like Torterra can take a flamethrower easy. It's okay, we'll fly, no problem, man. I don't even know what normie means. It's like, it's normies, dude. <laughs> People who like function normally on like a social level. Those are normies. Need to go on 4chan more, I guess. I don't know, man. Alright, gotcha. Okay, I guess now at least I know how to spell it, huh? I think Torterra should be fine against the Skun Tank, really. Um, he should be able to take a flamethrower and then KO with Earthquake. I don't think I need to worry about it. I need to keep in mind Aftermath, though. Um... I could equip the choice band, I guess. Guess that means I'm a normie. Yeah. You can post your stream on 4chan right now. Do it, man. Do it. Go ahead. See if I care. I've actually posted my stream on 4chan and like VP myself once. It's not a rival battle, by the way.
I don't even know why he's here, but he is. All right, Patrell. Here we go, my friend. Actually, got some of my oldest regulars that way. Yeah, I know, right? Four chan's not all bad. Guys, it's Chatot. Anyone remember Chatot? Feels bad, man. <sighs> Alright, Patrill. <clears throat> Here we go, my friend. Don't take out half my team again. Just gonna go for the Earthquake here. He's faster, though, which is huge. Don't burn me. 162... Ooh, not even to a KO. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> that's so frustrating, man. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. He dealt like, what? 58 damage, I think? So I'm in crit range now because of the fucking burn. And I'm not even sure Earthwing's gonna kill here. That's so frustrating, man. <clears throat> Who do I go into? <clears throat> Fuck, dude. Um, does it have any dark type moves? No. I could just go into slow, bro. Yeah, Chadot died to, to grinding. Mm. Fuck, all my options suck here. That burn was so crucial, man. God damn it. I'm going to slow bro. I kinda need the slow bro for Crow Gunk though. That's okay. Yeah, crits do two times in this game, it's ridiculous. I'll go for one calm mind here. It's fine. And then just spam Surf. I can actually sweep his team here. I'm pretty sure I can take a Thunder from Weezing behind one Calm Mind. That's fine. Don't poison me though. Okay. We have leftovers, so we're gonna heal up. This is fine. Slowbro is a beast, dude. It's the better Starmie, what can I say? Ten HP per leftovers tick. Um, I don't fear. I'm not afraid of this crowbat at all. I'll just go for the psychic. He goes for the U-turn, which is fine. He can't really switch into anything that can take a psychic. There's an NPC on Rado, so someone told me that it was really. <laughs> Wait, what? Radicate kind of sucks though. Pretty sure that has Thunder Fang. Um, does it though? No, but it has Crunch. Wow, really, dude? Where is Aqua Jet when you need it, man? Okay, I have to switch. He's gonna go into Crunch, right? Honestly, I think I can take a Crunch, but probably not a crit. Um, I'll just go into Spiritomb. And then kill it with Sucker Punch. Nice. Got him. Sadly, that means my Calm Mind is gone. That 1 HP survive was really, really, really rough. Toxicroak. Sucker Punch, Stone Edge, Cross Chop, X Scissor. Um, I'll stay in, I'll just put it to sleep. I don't even think Stone Edge Crit can kill me. Yeah, definitely can't. Let's go for the Dream Eater here. I could switch to slow bro, but like if it wakes up an X scissors, that's awkward. I'm just gonna go for the dream eater. <clears throat> and I think I'll do the same thing for wheezing, that's probably the best. Crobat is also still in the game. Dream eater should KO here. Quad super effective is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, there we go. Man, I was really not a fan of Dream Eater before using Spirit Tomb so much, but I really like it in this run just because of the recovery. It's so good. 
remember Typhlosion, I remember. Um, yeah, I don't think Weezing can do anything against me. I'm just gonna put it to sleep and Dream Eater. Nice miss. That's the first time I've seen this Weezing miss anything, any of its Thunder or Fire, or fire Blasts. It's crazy, man. Now here's a point where I could go into Slowbro and set up a Calm Mind and maybe use a Slack Off. Uh, there's no real reason for it. I could just stay in and just spam Dream Eater, man. It's fine. It really is fine. Remember every Pokemon that died to PC being bad? All of the Pokemon I lose are always just due to bad luck, man. Don't you know that? Because it's faster than me, I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch here. There we go. <laughs> All Elliot remembers Typhlosion, guys. Guys, go follow Galactic Elliot. He's amazing. He's awesome. He's really fun. Uh, just go for the Shadow Snake here. It's fine. What's up, Elliot? How are you doing, man? How are we feeling today? It's early for you, man. What happened to Typhlosion? He, like, burned three times in a row in this battle, and then in the next Petrel battle, he fucking died. <laughs> Memento? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off with that bullshit. How am I? I'm fantastic, man. I'm actually really good today. I really hope that the internet memes work out well on Thursday, so I can start streaming from the new apartment. <sighs> I could just spam Sucker Punch, man, but I kind of want to put it to sleep. Actually, yeah, she was Sucker Punch. I don't think this thing can do anything that's not... Actually, it can attract, but it's... Yeah, it's male. It could attract. I'll just... Yeah. I'll just drain... Uh, just... Dream Eater. Spirit Team is so strong, man. Memento has meme in it. That's true. That's a good point. That's a pretty good point. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I could go Sucker Punch to KO. I'm just gonna go Dream Eater again. Should be fun. Kitchen stream memes. I mean, the move is pretty much over. I spent the last couple of nights there. I'm just- I just drive here for streaming because I have my, my computer here because there's no internet in the new apartment. So the move has actually gone pretty well. All I need to move now is my computer. <clears throat> Alright, boys. This movie, Four Lines, and it was pretty great. I've never actually heard of that movie. I'll have to look at it. I watched The Departed for the first time last night. It was pretty good. Like throughout like the mid part of that movie, I got some like major Death Note vibes, which is like the only anime I've ever really enjoyed. Um, Death Note was really good. And so I really liked The Departed. I don't know how I fe felt about like some of the ending, <clears throat> but for the most part, it was a really good movie. I'll lead with Lantern here. I don't know if Lance heals you, but... I don't feel like I need to be healed, honestly. Wait, really, Ewok? Are you serious? <coughs> what do you think? I thought it was like a 7 or 8 out of 10. There were some plot points that I didn't really like, but... Um... It was pretty good. But that's actually pretty spooky, Ewok. It was a really enjoyable movie. Some of the cat and mouse games in that game were really sick. Um, I honestly gotta say, I didn't really like the relationship plot. It felt a little weird to me, I don't know. It felt not really well executed. The relationship between... Um, <clears throat> between like the main character and the psychiatrist chick was... In the beginning it felt okay, but like... During some parts, it felt a little bit unbelievable and maybe even unnecessary to me. I don't know. Was the ending supposed to make sense? I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, I don't know. The, the whole like story arc with the psychiatrist chick, I didn't really like that. I don't know. It felt a little weird.
Like, it seemed like they were gonna use her as, like, a plot device for, like, um... Matt Damon's character to be, like... To have, like, a motivation to be in danger and shit, but they never really expanded on that. And then it was, like, a weird thing with, like, her having... I'm not gonna spoil the entire movie, but, like... It, it just didn't feel right to me. I like the very, very, very end. The the end where like all the characters are like back on the building on on the roof and shit. That scene when they go down the elevator. That scene was really cool. It was just really well executed in my opinion. I like that. Um, and Mark Wahlberg's character was pretty great. I like that about the movie as well. Zombie, you're gonna have to tell me about that book ending sometime. I like shit like that. All right, Ariana. <clears throat> You didn't like that scene? I thought it made- it, it kind of made sense. I'm not gonna spoil, but like... Ah, uh, gotcha. I like how Lance actually has a back sprint in this game. Uh, I'll just spam Discharge here, I think. Should be fine against these, really. I could Signal Beam the Hypno, though. Actually, I should surf instead of discharging, right? Uh, 20% of 80 is what? Fuck, I can't math the name. Should be about the same power as surf, right? Yeah. The Earthbot has Earthquake. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like Medicham here. <sighs> Honestly, I like Slowbro here. Crunch though. Mm. I think Slowbro can take a crunch. Should be fine. I think we can ignore the Hypno from uh, for now. There's not a lot of damage potential coming from that. Okay, he's just gonna crush the dragon. That's fine. Nice hyper beam, bro. Yeah, we can just ignore the Hypno. I don't really care. Slowbro's so good, man. <laughs> Vile plume. Um, pedal dance is a thing, huh? I'll just go into Blissey. Ooh, I think this Vile plume might have Drain Punch actually. Ah, uh, whatever. I can I can take it. Actually, if he locks himself into pedal dance here, also Fire Blast from Dragonair is fun. That means that this Vile Plume is definitely going to die. Slowbro is not going to die, dude. He's going to make it further than any Starmie has ever made him. Dragonair dies. I think he goes into Aerodactyl now, if I remember correctly. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, 20% well, of 8. It's 16. Yeah, so it's 96. So it's actually slightly better. Magnet boosted Discharge is slightly better than Surf. By like one battle, or by one like, um, base power. Nice. Okay. Headbutt. That's a plus two headbutt. Not even gonna deal that much damage. We get the flinch though, which kind of sucks. Haunch crow. Kind of afraid of Brave Bird here. I think this is the point where I should go into. Into Lantern, even though Discharge is gonna kill the Aerodactyl, but what am, I, what am I gonna do, right? Yeah, I need to go to need to go to Lantern here. Let's just hope Aerodactyl kills up with a Rock type move. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then I can just Discharge. Oh, Alright, that's fine too. Physical Hypno. I know, right? It's crazy. Plus three attack. Damn, son. He's going He's going hard, man. Um, I'm just going to signal beam it. I think I can take a headbutt from it. He's going to crunch to it. Lance is actually so helpful in this fucking in this fucking battle. He, like, took out pretty much all the Pokemon. 
It's funny how slow the HP more moves in older games. Yeah, it's crazy. Muck. Uh, I'll go into into Medicham. Just split up some experience here. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Sludge Bomb is fine, just don't poison me. It's a lot of damage. It's not crit range, though. I'm fine. And the Psycho Cut is definitely gonna kill it. Yeah, I like the HP we're moving in this game. It's like, when I KO and Blissey in this game, it takes forever, but it's really cool to watch. Just like, But then again, if you're on the opposite side and you watch your like high HP's Pokemon HP just go down, it's really terrifying, man. Yeah, Jokario, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'll stay in on the Magnus Zone and go for the Drain Punch. I don't think this thing can kill me. Nice Fire Fang from Aerodactyl. He should also go for the Electric type attack on Aerodactyl here, so I'm pretty sure Minichamp should be fine. Also, I'm faster, actually. There we go. Easy. Now all we gotta do is take out the electrodes. Power trick? No. Keep old moves. Give up. Just give up, Metacham. Just give up. <sighs> Alright, and that's Rocket Hideout, basically. We just gotta do the electrodes now. Metacham is so great. It has fucking pure power, which is so good. I hope I get the choice scarf after this. I'm not really sure how it works with the mom sending you items meme, but I think we should get choice scarf after this. Which I'm probably gonna put on Medicham. Okay. Um. Heard that crack in your neck it was pretty good, right? I'm not gonna lie. I'll just lead with Torterra here. Fuji shouldn't display hidden abilities in Gen 4. Yeah, maybe. That's true. That's a really good point. Or fairy resists, yeah. <laughs> Swift. Alright, buddy. Go ahead, man. Knock yourself out. Why does it still think my team is Torterra, Ryola, Spiritum, Crobat, and Feebas? It's really weird. Nice crit. Restart your team script? Which one? Hold on. This one? Yeah, there we go. That actually did it. Electrode has the worst. Five o'clock shadow? Wait, what? I don't know what that means. <sighs> I'm fine with that. Also, welcome to the stream, Fridge. Oh, I finally get the name now. Fritch was taken. I thought it was like a Japanese meme. Was, was taken? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> but it's was taken. We haven't shaved all day. Oh, yeah. In German, we call it a three day beard. Yeah, now I know what you mean. I can absolutely see it. Okay, that shouldn't hurt. We have really good, really good defense here. And we have shell armor, so no crits. There we go. Did I already get my encounter here? Yeah, we got a wheezing. We got Whirlpool here, which means we can now um, access Whirl Islands, which means we have an encounter there, which I'm gonna get. Let me look up which 
uh, Pokemon I can get there. Pretty sure I can get Shelter there. Crabby, Seal, Psyduck, Sveal, Shelter. Because we already have a gold map. Yeah, the shell armor on Torterra is pretty dope. Uh, Staryu is actually just a uh, pastoral sound there, and I don't really feel like dealing with that shit right now. <laughs> nah, fishing is only horsey and Seedrum. We're just gonna get our Krabby Seal, Psyduck, Sveeler, Shelter. Alright. So I'm pretty sure we get the Choice Scarf now, so let's check that out. And then also go to Whirl Islands. I need a Whirlpool Slave. Uh, I think you're my Whirlpool Slave. I'm pretty sure about that. And then we need a Flyer. Get the fucking star. I don't even know if I can. I don't even know how the pastoral shit works. I can only I can only do that on like certain days. <sighs> yeah, I can't get it today. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just go for the ice type. Or a Psyduck. Or a Krabby. All of those are like okay. We'll also pick up our choice scarf. And then I'm probably going to raise up Ryolo for the price fight. I don't think anything else makes sense. Ryolo is really good for the price fight. Let's go here first to pick up the Choice Scarf. I think we can get it now. If we can get it here, I have confirmed that it's like event-based in the game. Because no one seems to know how that shit actually works. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's definitely event-based. Also, Koba Berries. When your Nuzlocke depends on the internet installer guy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, fuck star, you guys. Loving the sloth. I know, right? It's pretty great. What's up, Silver Fox Master? Long time no see. What's up, man? Super Repel. Um. Oh shit. I need to go into the bag. Yeah, Finneon is literally never gonna get used. It's so bad. Goodbye, Gust. I don't even know why you learned that. I actually learned quite a few special moves. It's just not a good Pokemon is the problem. Ecol! Long time no see. Holy shit, dude. Jesus. What's up, man? Oh, we can't Whirlpool yet because we need to fight Price first. I forgot about that. Okay, never mind then. I'll fly to Goldenrod real quick because that's like a good center of operation. So I, nice fucking sprite. That's the weirdest sprite I've ever seen. Dude, my, me and my Pokemon are like swimmers. What the fuck is this, dude? Jesus Christ. The more floating swimmers. I, I don't, I don't even know, man. I, I don't even know anymore. All right. The hidden mod is the deadly, deadliest, AKA E. Cole. All right. I kind of want to fix that sprite issue one day. Okay, so price. We want Metacham and we don't want Torterra. And we want Slowbro. 
I also want Thunderbolt for Blissim. Um, the most logical is just to go for Raiolu, right? And just raise into a like a Dank Lucario. It'll probably be, be a like a mixed attacker this run because it has pretty good attack Ivy. Um, but I'll go for Aura Sphere for now. Um, I don't think anything else here really makes sense. This Weezing is timid. Which, like, why? <laughs> um, what about Blaze Kick Lucario? Why would I? What do I need Blaze Kick for? Is there anything on Price's team that I can't with a Fighting type move? I don't think he has a Frostless, right? What about Zangus? Close combat is 53. Alright, oh, fuck that. Can I have it explode? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Sadly, like we can't use Melodic yet. He does have a Frostless? Oh, yeah, he does. Never mind. Yeah, he does. Uh, we Actually, we can get Dark Pulse for that. Yeah, we're fine then. I mean, this is a solid anti-price team. This is a really solid team, dude. I think, like, I think, like, I mean, raising Raiolu is obviously a chore, but what am I gonna do? I want to get that vacuum wave, so I'm gonna raise Raiolu to 37 before evolving it. I love how you can carry Feebas like a briefcase. <laughs> True, I love it. He looks a little bit like a handbag, actually. I love that. Yeah. We could think about Electrode here, I guess. Um, maybe? No, I think that's good. I think this is a fine team. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, pick up Crobat, and fly back to Olivine, and go fish for some money. And when I say some money, I mean a shit ton of money. Um, because I want Thunderbolt for Blissey. And I kind of want it for Lantern, but I'm not going to get it. It's too expensive to get it twice. I need 40 Stardust, or yeah, Stardust here, so it's going to take a while. Uh, so we're going to listen to some music and hang out. Um, let's do this. And do this. How do you kill Lapras and how do you kill Dugong? Key things here is switch around some mods and party since boxes and triggering overlay. Why though? Oh, because I restarted the, the thing. Hold on. Need to restart the script here. I want to evolve it at 37 to get Vacuum Wave, actually. Yeah, it doesn't like multiple scripts running, that's the thing. I guess the ultimate answer is just to unify into one script. Can we request music? Yeah, sure. Um, so the way that I think about it is like, if I know the song or the artist, we can talk about it and check it out. But I won't like, fulfill like every song request. But if you're like a longtime donator like you and stuff like that, we can listen to a couple of songs want to like if you have a song that you really want me to play I'll just not do like regular song requests you know we'll do it a little bit more casually what vacuum wave is 34 all right all right so you have the soothe bell all right so now we want to steal 40 stardust so we can get a thunderbolt TM <laughs> it's okay we'll get there Okay, wait. Do I want my indie playlist? Actually, let's do a thing. I have three playlists for you guys. Indie, hip-hop, and... Um, oops. Not star pull. Indie, hip-hop... Which... 
playlist. Andy hip hop seven or old school rock I'm gonna call it actually we'll do modern indie and old school indie that's probably the best way let's clear the trainers and prices Jim um I'll mainly just use Slowbro, I think. <sighs> you lads. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll leave a slow bro. Give him a few leftovers here. What's up, PVZ? I see that host. Thank you very much, man. I love that sloth on your mic. It's pretty great. It's an indicator of how, how good we feel in the day. If it's down, not feeling so good. That shit, it's falling off. But since we're doing pretty good today, and since the run is going well, it's sitting up there. Alright, boy. I'm gonna fail at the price puzzle again, by the way. I'm just saying. Um, we cannot dodge this trainer. I recently went through all the commands and deleted the unnecessary ones. Just use one call mind here and then sweep. I'll turn on battle animations after this. Yeah, it's a really clean list, I know. Losing Charizard to a love disc. It happens, man. What am I gonna do? How hard is the ice gym? It's pretty difficult. Uh, last time we lost half of our team to the ice gym. And the time before that, I think we lost one Pokemon. I don't think we've ever gotten zero deaths against Price. Only fought him two times yet, though. Try this way. Push the ice block right, then go back to the bottom, then go up to, the, to ice together. Yeah, okay. Um, I know what the next trainer has. I'll just leave with Blissey. Uh, we can fight this guy, right? No, we can dodge this guy, if we're good. Wait, actually? Look away. I'm pretty sure I have to do this, right? Don't I have to do this? And then go here? Here? No, that's not it, is it? But I have to fight this trainer anyway. Fuck, guys, I can't do this puzzle, ever. That's an easy flamethrower. Just read the one thing. Hold on. Push the ice block right, then go back to the bottom, then go up into the two that are together, and then right up left. Okay, I'll try that. I'm pretty sure I have to fight at least one trainer, dude. Look 
ukulele, which is part rock in this game, which honestly a little bit scary. What if it has like rock wrecker or something? Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm pretty sure rock resists fire, right? Yeah. It's actually the hardest puzzle in the game. Yeah. Any Pokemon game. Dude, X and Y- Ooh, shit. Oh god, don't kill me. <laughs> I'm fine, okay. Wow, and the defense drop. I might be in crit range now. The ice puzzle in X and Y when I was on, like, when I was running on, like, 19 hours of stream. That was pretty rough. I'll just go for the surf here. He, like, never actually crunches again. The AI just doesn't work that way in this game. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, thank you. Lieutenant Surge's puzzle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Wolfric fucked me over, man. Everyone in chat was making fun of me. Biking puzzles were annoying. I the the biking puzzle in the tower in Emerald was really rough, man. Um, I'll go into Lucario. Actually, this thing could have Earth Power. I don't know if it does. Wait, when does it learn Earth Power in this game? I actually have to find out. Hold on. Pokemon changes Glaceon. Earth power is 38. Yeah, and it's gonna have earth power. Um, I'll just go into Spirit Tomb, I think. Actually, Blissey. Thought it was fairly straightforward. Yeah, but the first time I did it, like, for in a long time, was like when I was like doing like a 24 hour stream, and I was like 19 hours into it. Pretty sure I'm fine here. Emerald Tower biking puzzle at two times speed. I don't even think that's possible, dude. Easy. All right, two at KO. I'm fine with that. Blissey battles just take forever, man. Emulator wouldn't run at normal speed. I had to do it with speed up on him. Yeah, there you go. See? It's fucking Earth Power, man. Told you. We got him. Fuck, are you serious? It's okay. It's okay. Obliminator! How's your steak, man? Did you post the pics? Oh shit, that looks so good. Oh my god, that looks so good, Oblivionator. Fuck, that looks so good. It's a lot of damage, man. Not gonna lie, Glacian. Halfway done eating. Sounds awesome, dude. Okay, let me go heal and then do the puzzle. About to eat school lunch, what are you gonna have? Wait, what the fuck is ma- oh, mac and cheese. I read man cheese. Go back? I'm just healing up. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. I actually know what lunch is today. My university has like a- my university's cafeteria actually has like an app. 
that tells us what we're having. It's pretty good. <laughs> Gave her some of my man cheese yesterday. Yeah. Look away. Look away, dude. Look away. All right. Wait, Ewok, how is that fucking supposed to work? Are you serious? That can't possibly work. You can go back to the bottom, then go up into the two that are together, and then right up left. That doesn't work, dude. I'm just gonna run into the trainer. It 100% works? Shit. God damn it. Is this gonna be scaling? I don't give a fuck. Push the ice block right, then go back to the bone, then go up into the two that are together, and then right up left, then fucking kill yourself. <laughs> you walk is right? I'm gonna run into the trainer though. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, I didn't expect that to give so much experience. Oh fuck shit, fuck shit, fuck. Oh shit fucks. Oh god. Oh shit on my mother. Fuck. Oh tits. Oh no. Oh, Chansey's gonna go 45. <sighs> Chansey's gonna go 45, dude. Oh shit fucks. Oh, cuck on my fucking balls. No. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, shit on my tits, dude. Oh god. Whoops. Fuck. Don't kill it, please. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I misclicked. I misclicked. No. Okay. Okay. He's switching out! That's really good, right? That's really good, right? That means that... That, that, that means that... Chansey's not gonna get experience when he switches it back in, right? I shouldn't be surfing here. That's really good, right? That means if he switches Jinx back in, back in the shit's gonna reset. I shouldn't have surfed. I need to switch out. I'm about to make the same mistake. You still get experience shared? Are you sure? Does that reset the experience yield? I guess we're about to find out. We might as well switch back and forth again, right? Oh god. Might as well switch back and forth. And <laughs> for accidental blissy switch. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> the experience dance. <laughs> and kills half the team. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright. 
Please don't level up, Blissey. Please, just let that reset the experience yield, okay? Please. I think, I think, I think we did it. I think we did it. Yes! Awesome. Okay, we cannot leave with Blissey anymore. <laughs> Actually, who am I going to lead with? I'm just going to lead with Medicham or something. Okay, let me go heal. That switch by the trainer was so fucking important, dude. <sighs> Holy shit. Game crashes. Overlay fucked? Yeah, it might be. Oh, the bullsey training me so far. He hasn't. She hasn't really seen any action. Uh, except maybe a little bit in the rockets. It's good. It's pussy, man. Who should I lead with? Um, I feel like I just wait. Okay, I think I'm just gonna lead with Meta Cham and just go for the high jump kick. Is the overlay updating now? Looks like it. So, wide lens for you. Um, you want leftovers, you want leftovers. Can you save real quick? Sure. Once I get done with this. Uh, I think you want a magnet. Or mystic water. You know what? When in doubt, Mystic Water. Hold on. Okay, good. Uh, you want the choice specs. And you have leftovers. Okay. I'll save just for you. A hundred, nearly exactly a hundred hours. Damn. It's pretty good. <sighs> when in doubt, Choice Scarf Thunder Wave. He gets me, dude. He gets me. Yes, I'll do the other save type. <laughs> Jesus, dude. All right, so apparently it's this. And if I go right now, I run into the trainer, guys. It's, there's no way that works, but what I can do, I think, hold on. I don't fucking know, man. Hold on. The trainer of the top slot? Yeah, he is. When I, yeah, but I can avoid the trainer. I can avoid the trainer. Hold on. I think I know how to do this. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think that was it, guys. <laughs> I don't think that was it. Ah, fuck me. Is that it, actually? Man, I don't fucking know. Level 10 autism, that's right. <sighs> okay guys, I know how to do it. You do this. And then you do this, you do this, you do this. You do this, you do this. You do this and you do this and then you're done. Okay. <sighs> do you think Metacham can win a KO? I think Metacham can win a KO. Let's try it out, I guess. I'm fucking ready, I don't know about you guys. Let's kill Price. Metacham, don't disappoint me. You better not miss your high jump kicks, dude. 1% <laughs> to miss them. Let's fucking go. Nice, good job. I feel like high jump kick needs a better animation in this game. It's pretty disappointing. Sick. Really sick. It's a free of bomb snow. <sighs> okay, I think Frostless is incoming here. Yeah, there it is. Definitely switching out. Um, Spirit Tomb seems good here. Jesus, Murdoch. All right, I'll try my best. This is high jump kick. I'm okay. I'm okay against the Shadow Balls. I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch. Two Sucker Punch should kill it here. I'm fine. Leftovers heals off the hail damage. Kinda. Let's go. Nice. What? Come on. Blizzard? I can take that. I can 100% take that if he doesn't crit. See? I got you, fam. Uh, he's gonna heal, so I'm just gonna double shadow sneak. Yeah. Actually, I should shadow sneak into Sucker Punch. Ooh, yeah, because I think Destiny Bond is a thing. That's so close. It's damage roll dependent here. Hypnosis? If I miss Hypnosis there, I'm like fucked. Actually, I'm okay with Destiny Bond here because Sucker Punch will fail, and I'll just switch out. Worst comes to worse. Just going to Blissey or something. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Okay. Nice crit. <sighs> okay. Who's next, boy? Who's next? Dugong. Okay, here's my plan against Dugong. I go into Slowbro, and I just set up like three Calm Mines. 
or however many I need to want to KO it with Psychic. It's fine with that. I'm completely fine with that. I have Slack off to heal. He can't do anything. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. He always loses against the Slowbro. Because he has Rest, Sleep, Talk, Surf, and Blizzard. So I just go for the Calm Mind. How long before I get frozen? Does that really matter? I think he can even now damage me if I get frozen a couple of turns. I will go for the slack off here though. Nah, I'll wait one more turn for the slack off. I <laughs> want one of these share colds. Not much you can do, my friend. Not much you can do! To sing Let It Go from Frozen again? Well, I'm not thinking that we're gonna do that again, to be honest. Now I can go for a slack off. Don't get frozen. Why is he surfing? I don't even know. To conserve Blizzard PP, dude. Many calm minds. I'm kind of thinking two is enough. Let's see how much psychic damage is gonna do. Should be good here. Can't rest at full HP exactly. That's what I was thinking. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna predict the rest here. I'm just gonna call mine again into Psychic and that should kill it. Yeah. That was close, man. I honestly thought I would deal less damage just to, to half HP and then it wouldn't rest. Oh, I remember it has a Lumberry. Doesn't matter though, or a Chesto Berry. And now it's Psychic KOs. I think I can sweep with Slowbro from here. Honestly, I think I can do that. Should be the easiest price of my life if I do. Get one more to ensure Lapras KO, yeah. Lapras is Thunderbolt, nice fucking crit. Are you serious? On the one turn that I kill you, so I can't even slack off. That's the only turn where the crit actually mattered, man. That's so disappointing. That really fucks with my with my slow bro sweep here. <sighs> Lapras, he's gonna Thunderbolt. Uh, I will say that I think I am in crit range for Thunderbolt here. Um, but I'm not gonna assume crit. I don't think I'm gonna assume crit here. This is my best way of KOing this this Lapras. Um, I think I'll, I'll just go. F I'll just go for slack off into psychic. Perish song. That's terrifying. That just means like, yeah. I mean that just means I have to switch out later. I have a couple more turns before I, before I need to switch out, and that means I get the free slack off in. I don't even think like crit thunderbolt can kill me from here. I was thinking slack off, so I definitely have enough HP to take on mammoth swine as well. You know. I don't think I need to switch now. Now Whirlpool doesn't trap if the Pokemon is dead. Psychic so I'm assuming one KO here, but I might be wrong. Lapras is a shit ton of HP. Look at that HP bar go down. Yeah, okay. That's good though, I don't trigger the healing item. No Thunderbolt Arena, Crit Arena, please. Have thunderbolt damage. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm on what plus four special defense, plus three. I think I'm good. Please don't crit me. Just don't crit me, man. 
Yeah, okay, I'm good. Alright, that's really sick. Lapras is like his best Pokemon in my opinion. Nice crit. 2017 experience points. I like it. Uh, Parish Song counter should be at 1, right? I have one more turn. Wait, no, it's gonna sink to 1. Okay, so I need to switch out now. Otherwise, this would be perfect with Glalie. Uh, I can probably just go into Lantern and go for the Surf. Or I go into... Medicham? Lucario is definitely an option. I like Lucario. That's fine. Is this gonna be the first deathless price? I'm pretty sure my first price was I had one death, right? Let's go to the Aura Sphere here. Easy. Spice Explosion, Blood Dry Shard, yeah, easy. What am I gonna do against Mammal Swine? I can switch to Slowbro to just wall it. Uh, I'm actually pretty confident that I outspeed and kill Mammal Swine. I have a choice specs, dude. I never miss with Aura Sphere. With choice specs, can I KO? Am I confident in my ability to KO? I definitely outspeed him. I just don't know if I KO. Is it safer to just switch into slow, bro? I can never miss with Aura Sphere. Not even with Slow Cloak, Snow Cloak, man. I don't think that's how it works. Aura Sphere just never misses. It has accuracy of infinity. Mm, choice specs is good, dude. I have plus special attack nature. Uh, this is a tough one. Mammoth Swine's special defense isn't even that good. I think the slow bro switch is just safer. I have specs, dude. Specs stab or sphere. I'd be very surprised if this doesn't KO, to be honest. Mammoth Swine is not that defensive. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, slow bro might have been safer, but I have specs. Yes! Nice crit. I don't think that mattered. I crit a lot during this fight. <sighs> Deathless price, dude. Holy shit. <sighs> Alright. That's really good. I mean, this was a really good anti-price team. I had a counter for every single one of his Pokemon. Didn't even need Blissey. Yeah, true. Or Lantern, for that matter. It was basically a 4-0, with two of the Pokemon just not being used. <sighs> okay. Um... I'll go get our Whirl Islands encounter now. And then we'll build a rocket base team or a rocket golden rod team. Let's go get our Whirl Islands encounter first. Nicholas, thank you for the follow, man. Not last run, bro. It's how far. There you go. Yeah, we died to Giovanni, who's the final boss of the Goldenrod Rocket Gala, so that's like coming up tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna do most of the Goldenrod Rocket Gala today. We might do Patrell, actually. Um, we'll see. Oh, I need to update level cap.
There we go. Oh, you need my dead crowbat. Play through this hack on release. Sick, dude. How much deaths were we at at Rocket Gauntlet uh, last attempt? Does anyone remember? I think it was like 10. Not even close. Oh yeah, nice. All right, that's awesome. <sighs> All right. Eleven? Alright. Yeah, we have plus special attack nature too. That's actually really good to know because Lucario is a static encounter for that fight, so I always know that Spike's Lucario okay it was the mammoth swine. We get one new encounter, boys. One new encounter. So we can get Seal, Sveal, Krabby, there was something else. Some of those. Shelter we can get. All of which are going to be really good for Claire. Where's that super repel? I really want to feel. I love Walrein, man. Walrein is cool as fuck. So for no shelter, skilling shelter would be pretty sick. <sighs> All right, give me good shit. Let the repel run out. And then give me good shit. Just want to get this shiny one in Kanto. I mean, shiny claws, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Spiel! Nice! Oh, I love Spiel. Look at it. How fucking cute is that thing? Holy shit. I love it already. be good for Claire, I hope. I hate Walrein? Wow, that's pretty rude. It's a bad ombre? Come on. What are we gonna call this thing, guys? We need a movie to name this thing after. Anyone got any ideas? Pinocchio, because they get eaten. Wally, Inception, Sphere plus Seal, yeah. Free Willy. The day after tomorrow is fitting, but not enough space. Maybe. W why Wally, though? Oh, because of Walrein? Eh. Are there no movies about seals? Free Willy 2? Free Willy 3?
Just feel with it. <laughs> we already have Ice Age. Eevee was Ice Age, but it died. All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> Build the wall rain. All right, I guess we'll do Wally. Navy Seals, is that a movie? We could do Super Size Me. Feel Team Six. Seal Team Six. Like this? Or Navy Seals. Let's do Navy Seals. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's check it out, I guess. Also by that, uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna check out uh, Weezing's IVs, which we caught earlier. Nice sprites, by the way. The sprite book, like, never happens in the Poke Center anyway. Ever notice that? Feel Team 6 was good. That wouldn't have fit. Alright. Okay. Weezing. 10 HP, 9 attack, 2 defense. 13 special attack, 5 special defense, and 19 speed. So it's terrible. It's even like timid natured. This Weezing is legit terrible. And then we have the hardy neutral nature with thick fat on Sphiel, and we have that 31 HP, 4 attack, 17 defense, 1 special attack, 0 special defense, and 16 speed. It's like, eh. Eh. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Good thing we have enough water types, so let's, let's just put it that way. Um... So we have something to discuss, I guess. Um, we have a question to discuss here. And that question is... Lucario or Medicham? Script? Lucario gets Dragon Pulse. Hmm, what do you guys think? I feel like I like Metacham a lot because there's so many poison types coming up. But then Lucario is also good against those because he has the poison immunity. But we already have two psychic types. Or we already have a psychic type. Maybe Lucario is just better. But like, the fact that Lucario gets Dragon Pulse, I mean, Medicham has Ice Punch, right? Those are pretty equal. Mm. Houndoom. How many Houndooms are there? I have two water types to deal with Houndoom. I don't think I need to worry about that.
Is this normal? We have the ghost type immunity. We have the electric type immunity. The Lucario team looks so much danker, dude. Having a steel type is so good. I'll go with Lucario. This is the hardest part of the game. One of the mistakes that I made last attempt was being greedy and, like, for example, choosing um, Crawdon over Azumarill, even though I knew that Azumarill was just 100% better. This team is just better, man. This, I think this team is just better, and I shouldn't be greedy at this stage of the game. It's the hardest stage of the game, man. I think this should be the team. <sighs> okay, so one thing I want to do before I start the Rocket Gauntlet is train everyone to, like, level 46. Mm, I think that's pretty appropriate. Two Lucarios in my party, by the way. Need to point where you get... I have a Zangoose and Metacham. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. This is such a good team, dude. We have no of our po- we- Yeah. No two of our Pokemon are weak. No more than two of our Pokemon are weak to anything. And no one on my team doesn't resist anything, you know? I can switch into anything. I have two of my top three, yeah. I just need Drift Blim, man. Alright. Um... Yeah, I wanna get everyone to 46, including Torterra here. So let's do that, nice sprites. Um... Who's not maxed on EVs yet? Slowbro is maxed. Torterra is basically maxed. Lantern is maxed. Blissey and Lucario are almost maxed. Okay, so let's max Lucario on special attack and Blissey on HP, and then we'll just do Lucky Egg training mm, to get everyone to 46. Let's pick up Crobat here. Actually, I don't need to pick up Crobat just yet. Lucario needs a Macho Brace. 